Hello students, today in this video we are going to do the remaining questions of exercise 1.3 that is from question 7 to 13. So first of all seventh question it is arrange the following in ascending order. Few numbers are given to us. We have to arrange these numbers in ascending order. First of all what is the ascending order? Ascending order is from smaller to the bigger one. So we have to move from smaller number to the bigger one. So from the given numbers, check it out which is the smaller one. It is 109. So first of all we will write 109. After 109, which is a smaller number? 307. So then we will write 307. And we have to put the sign of less than. Then again sign of less than. Then after 307, which number is there? 329. That's what I have written. Then less than. Next number is 507 then which is a uh, smaller number it is 947 so 947 and last number will be 4993 you have to put these signs in between the numbers eighth question is arrange in a descending order now which is a descending order descending order means from greater to the smaller one few numbers are again given to you First of all, check it out which is a greater one in this. It is 47,320 is greater. So this number I have written. Put the sign of greater than. Then which number is there? 29,761. That's what I have written. Sign of greater than. Then 7,259 is greater. Next. Sign of greater than. Next is 5,554 is there. And the least or smallest number in this numbers are 153. That's what we have written in the last. Don't forget to put these signs. Okay. Ninth question is compare. You have to compare the given numbers. Two numbers are given to you like 4509 and 2009 is given to you. When you will compare, you have to check which one is greater in this. So obviously 4509 is greater. We will put the sign of greater than over here. Second part is 4335 and 5334. Two numbers are given to you. Which is greater in this? 5334. So we will put the sign of greater than over here. Question number 10. Find the successor and the predecessor of the following. Whenever we have to find out the successor and the predecessor, how we will find out? Successor means succeed. We have to move forward. When we will move forward means we have to add 1. And predecessor means previous 1. We have to write the previous number of the given number. Previous means we will subtract 1. So first number is given to you 999. How to find the successor? Successor means we have to add 1. So 999 plus 1 which will give us 1000. Predecessor previous 1. Previous means we have to subtract 1. So 999 minus 1 which is equals to 998. Second part of this question is 400. So what will be the successor of 400? It is plus 1, 401. Predecessor of 400 minus 1, 399. Third part, 63,099. What will be the successor of 63,099? Successor means we have to add 1. So add 1 in this, what you will get? 63,100. Predecessor means previous 1. So 63,099 minus 1. It will be 63,098. Next number is 10,000. So what is the successor of 10,000? It is 10,001. What is the predecessor of 10,000? It will be minus 1. 10,000 minus 1 which is equals to 9,999. So next is question number 11. The difference between two numbers is 9,83,563. If the greater number is 13,98,357, find the smaller number. So two things are given to you. One is the greater number is given to you and another is the difference given to you. So what we are going to write? Greater number is 
98,357. We will suppose here the smaller number. Let the smaller number be x. Difference is also given to you. Now what do you mean by difference? Difference means minus subtraction. So greater number minus smaller number is equals to whatever is the difference given to you. That's what we have written. Now what we are going to do? We are going to shift this x towards this side. X With x there is a negative sign. When you will shift it will be of positive. And when I will shift this number towards this side it is of positive sign. The sign will change this to negative. So 13,98,357 minus 9,83,563. We have to subtract these two numbers. It is equals to x. When you will do the subtraction, you will get 4,14,794. So the value of x is 4,14,794. So you will get the smaller number which is 4,14,794. Our next question is question number 12. Question number 12 is, the population of a town is 9,75,165. One out of every 15 is reported to be a school teacher. It means that out of 15, uh, that number of population or number of people, out of every 15, one is a teacher. And find the number of teachers. We have to find out the total number of teachers in the town. So what is the total population given to you? 9,75,165. So out of every 15 people, one is a teacher. We have to calculate the number of teachers. So what we are going to do? Total population divided by 15. So this will be our dividend. Whatever is the total population will be our dividend and 15 will be our divisor. So 15, 6 is a 90. When you will subtract, you will get 7. 5 will be here. So 15 5s are 75. 0 and 0 you will get. Now we will bring 1 down. But 1 is smaller than 15. So what we are going to write? 0. If we have written 0, then we will bring one more digit down, which is 6. So 15 1s are 15. 16 minus 15, how much? 1. Bring 5 down, it will be 15. So 15 1s are 15. Remainder will be 0. So what is the number of teachers now? Number of school teachers? It will be 6,500, uh, sorry, 65,011. Number of school, school teachers will be 65,011 will be our number of teachers. Question number 13. The product of two numbers is 4,35,375. This is the product given to you. Means multiplication of two numbers given to you. If one number is 225, one number is given to you 225. We have to find out the other number. So product is given to you. One number is given to you. We will suppose the other number. Let the other number be x. So one number multiplied by other number. 225 multiplied by x will be our product. This will be our product. If you will see here, two numbers are being multiplied. So I will shift this 225 down over here. When I will shift here, it will be divided by this. See, x is equals to 4,35,375 divided by 225. So now you will divide it. 225 ones are 225. Subtract these three numbers, you will get here 210 after subtracting. Then we will bring this 3 down, then 225 into 9. You will multiply and you will get the number 2025. After subtracting, you will get 78. Now 78 is smaller than 225. So bring this 7 down over here. Then when you will multiply 225 with 3, you will get 675. After subtracting, you will get 112. After this, 112 is smaller than 225. So I will bring this 5 down over here. Next, 225 into 5 will be 1125. When I will subtract, I will get the remainder is equals to 0. So what is the other, other number over here? 
other number will be 1935. So by this we have finished our first chapter. In the next video you will get the test of this chapter. And you have to do this exercise in your notebook. Thank you children.